Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, the 1st of August, 2013. Edward Snowden is not going to be sleeping in a small room at the Moscow airport tonight. He's been granted one year of asylum in, Mos in Russia by uh, President Putin. Uh, Snowden has left the transit zone of the Moscow airport. He's under heavy security at the moment. He's been in the transit zone since June 23rd. Apparently, Mr. Snowden has agreed to a demand from the Russian president that he no longer release any secrets during the remainder of his stay in Russia as far as they pertain to the American intelligence operations. Whether or not this means that the planned summit between President Obama and President Putin in Moscow later this month is still going to happen is not yet known. On a uh, long flight from Santiago, Chile to Sydney, Australia yesterday, about 25 passengers became ill. This was on a Qantas Airlines Flight 28. Uh, the uh, passengers apparently uh, were treated by ambulance crews upon arrival in Sydney. According to the airline, the uh, group were part of the same tour group that uh, the airline suspects might have contracted their illness, which was gastrointestinally based, before they boarded the flight in Santiago. Interestingly enough, Applied Insurance Research has some news. When we think of windstorms and hurricanes, we always think of Florida because of the proliferation of expensive property on the coastlines. Uh, Florida property values for 2012 are, in fact, $2.86 trillion. But for the first time, Florida was toppled by the property values in New York State. New York State was up to $2.92 trillion in property value. Uh, so New York State is as uh, big a target as any for a hurricane, as we've certainly seen with the damage done by Superstorm Sandy uh, last October. In Myanmar, about 25,000 people have been evacuated as a result of intense flooding caused by monsoon rains in the eastern part of the country. Heavy rains also inundated areas across the border in Thailand. Seven Thai provinces uh, remain flooded uh, as of this morning. At least three people have died as of now. A company in Kansas called the National Beef Packing Company is issuing a voluntary recall for about 50,000 pounds of beef that could be contaminated with E. coli bacteria. The beef was uh, shipped out on uh, July 18th to retailers nationwide. The uh, marking number inside the USDA mark of inspection, that blue uh, tattoo on beef, is EST208A. So if you see that on your hamburgers, uh, call somebody. Here's the story. A, a huge torrent of water blasted up to 65 feet in the air in the western uh, suburbs of uh, Rio de Janeiro yesterday morning when a water main exploded. Killed one person, uh, injured 16 other people, destroyed cars and property. The pipeline ruptured about 6 a.m. local time yesterday morning. The pipeline is operated by the State Company for Water and Wastewater. It's now been shut down, but a huge flood still remains. The cause of the accident is still under review. Well, today could be the day that the most uh, highly paid baseball player in America uh, finds out what his fate is. Mr. Alex Rodriguez, who plays for the Yankees, although he hasn't played for a year or so because of an injury, could be suspended for life. Interestingly enough, the uh, terms of his agreement and the effect that it has on the baseball uh, playing standings is something of interest to competing teams. The manager of the Baltimore Orioles, for example, a team in the Yankees division, says that suspension for Rodriguez could help the Yankees and that infuriates Buck Showalter, who's the manager. Uh, he says that getting Rodriguez's $25 million salary off their 2014 uh, books would effectively reset the Yankees' payroll, uh, which is projected to have a luxury tax of about $189 million that the club hopes to uh, slip underneath so it doesn't trigger it. Any money that uh, Rodriguez does not receive, even if he's paid it or not, I should say any money that he is paid by the Yankees while he is suspended is subtracted from the salary cap. According to Buck Showalter, the Yankees signed the contract for Rodriguez to pay him $27 million a year for 10 years, so they should be stuck with it. The Yankees, of course, are uh, uh, rumored to be actively exploring uh, ways to not pay Rodriguez at all, should he in fact be suspended or to transfer that liability over to the insurers that might have a piece of Rodriguez's contract. 
It would be, as Showalter said, giving the Yankees a get-out-of-jail-free card that would then allow them to use the money that they would normally have paid Rodriguez to pay other players that they would then sign. Very interesting. We should know that today, today I would think, because it'll have to be done by this weekend's games. That's the thinking. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.